Hello everyone and welcome. And for today I will play the third level of the Vapala campaign, Renunciation on Hard Difficulty. Uh, now let's have fun. To destroy what is around us is to destroy ourselves. To cheat another is to cheat ourselves, said the Buddha. The Honas. Predatory horse lords of the northern plains were a living mockery of these words. Long had they lain dormant, drunk on wealth and decadence. But the chilling memories of their wretched work, of village cities and plundered crops, of burnt monasteries and butchered monks, were as vivid in our minds as the sheen of the morning sun on the snowy ground of distant mountain tops. Equally dreadful were the rumors that these Hunas who watched with glee as their neighbors whittled each other down, had begun to stir once more. The Pratiharas and Rashakutas may have been longtime enemies of Devapala's family, but unchecked, the Hunas posed an even greater threat. Renunciation of desire will bring an end to one's dissatisfaction. That is the third noble truth. So Devapala renounced his struggle with his forefathers' rivals and marched his forces north into the demon's lair to crush the foul Hunas forever. Alright, now let's see what we can have. Eliminate all three Huna cons. The Hapala can reach the Imperial Age but is restricted to a population limit of 150. Approach this mission like a regicide match to win, you need only eliminate the three Huna cons. The Hunas are depraved, depraved but not beyond redemption. Perhaps by converting rather than killing their cans, you can sway their followers to your side. That's pretty cool because there is an achievement and we're gonna follow, we're gonna get this to, to get the achievement. A few well-guarded tributions can easily foil an enemy relic victory. Okay, that's pretty cool. Pratihara forces still occupy the south, but they are withered and battered from the conflict over Kanaush. Pillage their lands at will, but do not commit too much energy to them. Okay. Okay, the scouts, we are yellow, and his, for, uh, his forces are arriving from the east on the periphery of Huna territory. Multon, two blue, lies in the center of the map, and it's a major city in this region. It's not your main target, but it's foot soldiers may be necessary to deal with while, while attacking the Hunas. Okay, the Pratharas 3, red, occupies the south with a pitable force of cavalry and foot archers. They pose no significant threat, but their stockpiles could be pillaged to boost to bolster the Palawar effort. The Hunas for Green are your most dangerous adversary. Operating out of three camps spread about the map, their forces of swift cavalry and skirmishers will not wait to will not wait long before striking out against any invader. Gosh. The Hunas once burned our temples and slew oh, yeah. our monks. Now we will take the fight Are to these Khans and their mounted hordes. The Hunas' hate has made them bow to me, hey, but they are not beyond redemption. <laughs> Perhaps our monks can sway their Khans from their insidious path. Hey, hey.
have shown yourself not entirely. But one small victory does not win a war. Need I remind you of the relics that our ancestors looted from yours? Adesh? Zucaria. Katuria, to yar, Katuria, to yar, Katuria. Hey. Okay. Yeah, we can. We can try to convert this guy. Adish. To mar shai. To yar. Nirma nirma kari. Okay, now, yeah, we can also try to convert this guy and see what happens. But also, getting rid of this, of this camp would be amazing. Um, yeah. Okay, we need more attack for the elephant units, that's for sure. Our wounds Hi. from the battle over Kanoj are still fresh, Devapala. But we sense a greater threat to the north. Will you let the enemy of your enemy become your friend? For however short a time. Let us destroy the Pratiharas, cousin. Those scum will jump at the first chance to betray us. Emperor, while you may desire vengeance, remember that renunciation is one of the four noble truths. The Hunas are our true enemy. Oh, 
Our monks have swayed this god from the unrighteous path. Now he and his followers will do battle with our enemies. Adish? This is impossible! Hi, 
Venerable Devapala, look! Hoy. Reform by our teachings, your new Huna allies take the field against their despicable brethren. Find your weapons and reform your armies. Prepare to be ridden down like grass. So, you seek to bring it to crazy You are no better than the marauders who you claim to oppose. Survive the destruction that your armies have reaped. <laughs> Adish? 
आदेश तो यार निर्माण करी हाय शतोरे हे आदेश हे अभी जाइए तो यह शोध आमी चाहिए काकाचुरिया निर्माण करी 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 निर्माण करे निर्माण करी होए तुम्हारे शिवा होए मुझे होए मुहाशोए कुनवाल बुझो होए मुहाशोए तुम्हारे शिवा होए मुझे होए कुनवाल बुझो होए मुहाशोए निर्माण निर्माण करी
বেশ आदेश निर्माणकारी
So be it, Pala. The resources that we loot from the Pratiharas will fuel our campaign against the Hunas. I think that the ends justify the means here, cousin. जोगाड़िया and have given in to their anger. I hope that it does not do irreparable damage to their body. Hi. 
आदेश तुम्हारी बुझ निर्माणकारी have swayed this gone from the unrighteous path now he and his followers will do battle with our enemies adesh hey ami jai hoy shotto shotto tomar shebai shotto shotto tore to ya हाय, 
Adish. A new horde has just arrived to fight you. Surely you realize that you are doomed. Hey, Shotto, Nirman Kari, Toya, Nirman Kari. Hi, Shotto, Nirman Kari. path now he and his followers will do battle with our enemies that was pretty good we have subdued the nefarious hunas never again will they threaten our lands or our faith that was pretty cool gg folks pretty hard but i managed to find a way to win evil must exist so that good can prove its purity said the buddha the Pala army shone like the brightest of lights as it plunged into lands darkened by the Hunas' corrupt and wicked ways. No obstacle was too great for it, no foe too fierce. Some Hunas saw the error of their ways and pledged themselves to our monks' teachings. Those who did not were struck down or vanished into the shadows. As Devapala strolled through the ranks of his cheering warriors, 
I was elated by our victory. Yet something in the Emperor's gaze stirred a feeling of dread within me. The would-be Bodhisattva was now being hailed as a great conqueror above all, and I feared that this change had taken root even in the Emperor's mind. All right, all right, very good. So we fought the Tatars, and we also had to fight the Mutan and Pratiharas. The Mutan, I just made this desperate attack because I was about to lose, and eventually we won, so that's pretty cool. And yeah, um, yeah, they got some gold apparently, which is interesting. Uh, it was from the Stab Rider. And Mutan also got some gold as well for from relics, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> yeah it's a pretty solid city and uh, no need to fight then. But I can just convert them to win. So that was a pretty good idea. this oh that was pretty smart so there was a way for me to put maybe Salve a monk here oh that would be so freaking cool oh no way I lost that one that was a so so good idea that would be epic. Then I had to do this big tour, but that's so cool. Uh, yeah, GG, folks. That was a totally uh, uh, extra. That's very cool for this map. You can just convert his count from here. That would be awesome. That would be a very epic thing to do. Anyway, GG. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.